Hey everybody, me again, Channel Practical Power Core. Today's video, I'm gonna show y'all just my what I do every day. You know, I get off of work, I come out here, make sure I get a hundred balls. Usually Ray with me, which is I'm gonna throw five games at 13, five games at 20, and then after that, I'm gonna show you every single shot. After that, I'm gonna make a YouTube short and I'll show you the process of every miss of that. Okay. If we look at the time, it's 5.23. I'll try to time stamp it when I get back. Uh, my heart rate, let me check it. It's going to take a while. But I'm going to show you the heart rate, and I can show you what it is after. All right, it's 87. Hopefully this watch is good. So 87 right now, we're going to see, you know, how much you get your blood flowing through throwing 100 balls. And like I said, I'm going to hit a shot. I'll show you how many times it is to hit it. And after I sling, I'm going to try not to think of the camera being there. But after we're done, I'm going to tell you all the little tricks or whatever I'm doing to try to hit the target, y'all. So here we go. 13 meters round one. Seven three, round one. Seven, bro. How do I do that? All right, game three. One, three. Round two. Slow down. Game three, round one. Good lord, five two, I think. Round two. I think 10, y'all. I think I really, I think I might have messed up the numbers on that one. But anyway, that was game four. One more game, 13 meters. Round one. Either 10 or 11, something like that. So just 13 meters, kind of going fast. Let's see if this thing does anything right. 87 when I started. 111. And whatever the time was, now it's 532. All right, five rounds at 20 meters. You know that, we're let you know that slinging is a good little workout. You know what I'm saying? It's, uh, it's fun, you got to, you're aiming, you're practicing, you aim, and it's a good cardio workout, you know? There's too many, like, heart attacks is one of the worst things right now in the United States or in the world, really. So, it's a good way to get that blood pumping. Anyway, 20 meters, first game, round one. Ah! Oh. Uh, three quads. Three quads. Round one. Round two. Nice. Oh. Oh. Uh, three, four, five, 
six. That's not that great. All right, game two. Quattro. Oh. Quattro, three points, round one. Round two. Seven, eight. That's better. Eight points, that's better than what I had before, but it's not where I want to be. All right, game three, 20 meters. Quad, three, one, round one. Frick! 7 2. Another sucky one. I feel like I got two more balls left. Oh well, screw it. 7 2. Alright. Game 4. Game 4, 20 meters. Quad it. Quad it. Quad it three. Three points, round one. Round two. Quad it. Quad it. Quad it. Seven points again. Shoot, my highest game was eight. That sucks. All right. Last game at 20 meters, y'all. Let's see if I can beat eight freaking points. Oh my goodness. Five, zero, one. Two. Three, four. Five. I don't even care anymore. <laughs> Last game was the worst. But there it is, y'all. Uh, so, now, hope we still got y'all attention. We still at the 20 meter line. It's still right there. We can put a little angle on it. And see what we can do to hit that. I'm get him out of the camera. Right, like I can tell, I can barely hit the diet. Let's see if I get this bowling pin. Like I said, I will not edit any shots out. Look at the balls. <laughs> All right, y'all, there it is. Okay, we done. 544. Let's check the old heart rate. Like I said, sometimes this thing be messing up. 103. Okay. So, get the one that goes around your heart. It's a lot better because my heart rate is definitely up there right now. But okay, usually when I'm slinging, you know, me and Ray out here playing a competition, we take little, not really little breaks, but it wasn't so fast paced as it was today because it's usually wrestling, oscillating, wrestling, oscillating. So when you do sling by yourself and you come out and you just sing a lot, it's good. You need to learn. That's the best way to do it. But in the competition, it's like you throw five throws. You might not throw again for another hour. You know what I'm saying? So when it comes to just having your mind and body synced up at the same time, it's really hard to do at certain times, especially you got other people watching. Now here I'm by myself. You know, there's always different things. And slinging like really messes with the human mind. But all right, I'm just going to tell you all what I'm thinking about when I'm singing at the target. You know, I'm thinking about where I'm letting go. You know, let's get let's get looking at the target just so I can kind of show you. 
And this ain't nothing to do, this ain't nothing I ain't already said, but honestly, I gotta, I gotta practice, keep my mind where I preach it, you know, because I'm always saying so many things, because I'm always going down so many rabbit holes trying to figure so many things out. It's like, I forget the basics. And the basics is, you gotta keep their weight back. And I'm aiming at the target, right? But you gotta realize where you let it go. If you watch people sling, you can look at the sling and notice if the ball's gonna go in the right spot. Okay, so yes, I'm looking right here, but I gotta let go like right here. You know, I'm, it's hard to understand exactly what I'm talking about, but it's like, instead of, usually when you throw with your hand, you're not throwing with your eyes, right? You're just throwing, uh, you know, it kind of comes in your eyesight and you let it go. Well, now your arm's a lot longer. So you gotta think of your arm being right here. So you gotta kinda look at where you're letting go to hit the target. And you wanna keep that weight back. Cause if you if you if your weight's forward, it's like you're gonna throw fast. You know, it's like you're just gonna, I don't know, it's just not it's just not right. It's just not right for me. For me. Alright. Now, you know, just think about letting it go right here and hit the target. Now to really get into it. You want to look at the middle of the diameter when you're trying to hit the target because you will think, which I think, I'm like, all right, I'm throwing right here, I'm thinking right here, I'm doing this. Well, now stuff's starting to go crazy again. So I got to realize I'm letting go right here, but I'm still focused on the target. And I tell y'all, sometimes you get in that groove where it's like I'm looking at the target, but I know I'm throwing right here, and it's just, it's crazy sometimes. They just keep on hitting. You know what I'm saying? So that's my biggest one I've been working on. Um, another one is, is uh, I just had them on the tip of my tongue. Another one I wanted to talk about was when I first got out here, and we do it all the time. It's a thing. You get out there, you're fresh. You know, you're kind of like, all right, I need to warm up. I'm not going to be that great. And you just start hitting Diana's back to back to back to back. You know, and then once you start doing it, you get so involved in it. Once you warm up and your mind get into it, it's like all the little things you start focusing on and it just throws you off, you know, and that's the thing to fight. You know, one more thing is if you ever sling it and you can't hit the target worth the dang, which I know it's like most of us, it's like it happens a lot. The fun part is getting out of it. And whenever... You sling long enough, you're gonna start getting out of it. And then once you get out of it, you gotta think about what you did mentally to get you out of it. And that's how you get better, you know? Cause I could throw another 100 balls, you know? And if I'm not thinking, if I'm thinking about something else and I'm just throwing, it's not really getting me better. The way to get better is to kind of get in a slump and figure out how to get out, you know? Even when you're tired. But anyway, hope y'all like what y'all see today, y'all. I just wanted to come show y'all what we'll go through every day. Getting ready for this competition that's coming up. Y'all check out the link in the description to see how we did two years ago. Hopefully there's another one that's going to drop this year to show what we did last year. And then in four weeks, I will be in Ibiza going for the world title again, y'all. Second place both years. It's time for first. Hope y'all like what y'all seen today. If y'all did, don't forget to like, subscribe, tell a friend when you do. Tell them that notification bell. Hey. Practical pair record. Hey, you don't wanna miss it. Keep you entertained. You know that we talking slinging. Catch them in Louisiana. Sling King. Find them down south. Slinging giants like it's David and Goliath. Uh, make sure you subscribe now. All the slinging techniques. Slinging so hard I could kill a beast. Come and check me. Hey, I know that you gon' like it for sure. Make sure that you tune in to Practical Paracord. Let's go. Ba 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 ba!